it as a mantra in your mind, um, and maybe you learned a lot from it about why it is so important that you're here today, tonight, <laughs> if it's ready to go. Yeah. The inverse of the Pythagorean theorem is known as the Pythagorean theorem. It was composed by one of Pythagoras' competitors who kind of had an uh, identity problem. And uh, he actually tried to kill Pythagoras at one point. But the uh, Pythagorean theorem is uh, basically just C squared plus B squared is A squared. And none of that actually means anything.
something that these guys can monologue about. And uh, someone's going to come up and start talking about that. But at any point, um, one of the players can say, squid! And they will interject something that uh, proves that statement false that the last person just said. Um, so to start them off, can we get a, a topic to talk about? Oh, okay. back. Uh, what the? Brokeback Mountain. Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> Brokeback Mountain's a movie that I've never seen. Uh, I heard it's a really good movie. I probably would have watched it. Uh, but I didn't, because I was really young when it came out. Um, and I was probably too immature. Squid! You could have watched it by now. Uh, that's true. It's been on Netflix for like three years. <laughs> I also have not seen Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> but I should have. I have no good excuse. Uh, Brokeback Mountain is a very good movie. movie Squid! How do you know that? You've never seen it! I mean, it could be that. <laughs> I also have not seen that. It's absolutely. Squid, she does not deserve to talk about it from someone that hasn't seen it. I mean, it's a really good movie. You should see it. <laughs> I have seen it. <laughs> and it is about two Woo! cowboys, and they get together one night, and they discover each other's bodies. Squid, I think they get together multiple nights. Uh, yeah, they do. <laughs> I have not seen it. Major. This doesn't necessarily mean that I know a lot about finance, but I have a fair working knowledge of it. I actually uh, received a job offer at Cardinal Health as a Woo! finance manager. Yeah! 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 Are you allowed to reveal that information? Might be classified. <laughs> you better watch out. I mean, it's the digital age. <laughs> you gotta be careful what you put on Facebook or other social media websites these days, because that can be the difference between you getting a job and, well, you're not getting a job. So, um, hey, that's what privacy settings are for. I've never been able to figure them out. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> privacy settings are really hard to figure out. I'm sorry, I'm pretty successful in privacy settings. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, would be. So. <laughs> 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 Squid, what is your favorite movie? Um, I think we all know that she's a private person. She just said she was a private person. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Can I have some advice? Yeah. 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 Y
your father may perhaps know, go to section Romans 1405. 1405 says, father's knowing is dubious at best. Next to my mom. <laughs> Alcohol. 
Why can't we just love each other? <laughs> like our mothers obviously did. <laughs> I was told I have to kill you. They got pregnant together, and they got shirts together. <laughs> Why can't we do that? <laughs>
So, if one of us stumbles, mumbles, tells a shitty ass story, or uh, and or starts with and, as in he's so I'm talking, and then I start talking, die with force. Then you guys all yell die. So we're gonna practice that because there's a lot of new faces here. So one, two, three, die. Great. Okay. Don't be afraid to kill us. Please. Please. <laughs> be trigger happy. <laughs> Alrighty, so can I get the title of a mystery novel that's never been written? Balloon Full of Shaving Cream. Balloon Full of Shaving Cream. <laughs> <laughs> it popped. And I was consumed. By the white cream of redemption. <laughs> How would I get this beard off? The question had plagued me for years. <laughs> but I want the beard still, I thought to myself, and then I thought, well, the shaving cream has been applied in my face, so maybe I should shave it off. But <laughs> the next day came. That's when I decided <laughs> that I would not <laughs> shave today. <laughs> And I would shave tomorrow! <laughs> Shaving cream was going to remain on my face. Until I was ready <laughs> to shave my face. <laughs> my, my lamb chop. I have a serious <laughs> lamb chop issue. It's not really the, the first part of the beard that I'm concerned about so much as the lamb chops that surround <laughs> the goatee aspect. <laughs> That my girlfriend hates. But I don't care. I love them. <laughs> They're great. They bring me comfort when my girlfriend is not around. <laughs> they bring me warmth in the winter time and late fall. <laughs> they are not the same color as my hair. <laughs> Neither was the blue from whence the cream came. <laughs> we didn't all that shaving cream. It got all over everything. And I mean everything. My cat's never been the same. <laughs> I shaved him first as sort of a test run. <laughs> sequel to a sci-fi novel that's never been written. The Horse Among Us. <laughs> the Horse Among Us. The Horse Among Us. <laughs> the horse was among us. <laughs> Actually, there were several horses in our midst. But which ones? Which ones of us were horses? <laughs> I've always been suspicious that we were the horses. <laughs> but nay. Everyone moves. <laughs> 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 
Everyone poops. It's not a fantasy. It's a reality. <laughs> <laughs> Nick took it. I took it. Poop has come alive. <laughs> My name is Herbert J. Bushman. <laughs> I would like to tell you about this tragedy that has struck planet Earth. Basically what happened was I was doing an experiment and all of a sudden diarrhea hit. <laughs> the planet Earth. <laughs> it struck fast and hard and quickly it strained out. <laughs> My body. <laughs> and Earth. No! Wandering my body. Wandering my body. Wandering my body. You. The me. Wandering. My body. I was taking a little stroll one day when I thought, hmm, it's time to do some sex. Cherry. <laughs> <laughs> 
My name wasn't actually Banana. <laughs> he asked me my name and I didn't want to give it to him and I froze and I was holding a banana. So I told him my name was Banana. <laughs> I panicked. Why would I tell her my name was Chip? <laughs> it's clearly Dan. <laughs> but uh, we'd have to see where that went. So, Banana. So, Cherry. That's an interesting name. As is yours. It's almost as if we were made for each other. Or, you were made to stay far, far away from each other. <laughs> <laughs> because bananas and cherries don't really go well together. Flavor <laughs> <Later> wise. <laughs> you make a great point, but isn't it fun to break the rules every now and then? <laughs> I've been picking up young boys from the supermarket <laughs> since 1972. <laughs> I was feeling a little risky today, so I thought I'd experiment with adding another. <laughs> well, anyway, it was nice meeting you. <laughs> Some would say, yes. Where was I going with this? <laughs> I never crashed and burned this bad before. <laughs> but I was determined. I was determined. He was so determined. And somehow, I was into it. Hello! So if, say, I wanted to wave at Nick, 
my partner would have to lift my hand, wave it back and forth, and that would be the action. <laughs> and if, he, and if he leaves my arm there, if he takes his arm away, my arm will stay there, so that, you know, my arm will stay there. If I want to my head, he's got to turn my head. Hey, look you, yep, yep, and that's what happens. <laughs> and if I wanted to start walking towards Sean, he would just tap the back of my legs. Like that. <laughs> Just like that smooth motion. Like <laughs> 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 <When> we walk. <laughs> so, we got to start it. Let's reset a little bit. Okay. Okay. And then we got a word to get us started. Sponge. 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 Thank you. Thank you. I noticed you did the dishes. Yeah, well, uh, I know you had a rough day at work. Thanks, hon. I brought you this put package of flowers. Aw. <laughs> You know those are my favorites. I know. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. That was some effort. I just want to, I just want to give you a good vote right now. <laughs> Work is just tiring me out. Oh. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm coming. Oh. <laughs> I'm so glad we're married. <laughs> we can stay here all night if we wanted to. But I don't really want to. Yeah. <laughs> Unembrace. Oh. 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 <laughs> so why was work so rough today? Oh, you know, it was the kids. Oh, man. I don't know how... Oh! <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I know daycare instructing is a tough business. You know, <laughs> nobody really appreciates daycare instructors. There's a chair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so busy, I can't see the furniture. <laughs> I was cleaning today, and did we get extra strong cleaning supplies? Because I swear the room was spinning. Yeah, that was that NASA cleaning supply. Wow, you love your space. <laughs> if I could get one of my kids to be an astronaut, it'd be all worth it. So what's for dinner? Oh, well, let me show you. It's over here. Oh, hold on, let me get up. Uh, uh, I bought that chicken that you love, and I put so some so vinegar on it. Chicken with vinegar? <laughs> it's not even cooked! My favorite! I know just what you love, honey. Come here and give me a kiss. <laughs> It's yeller. <laughs> I 
swore I'd get that yellow shark on the sense it took my leg. Both of them are here. <laughs> yup. <laughs> I have a grudge with this shark too. Just got the one peg. <laughs> it's a pogo stick. <laughs> He took me hand. Oh! He took me, you know. <laughs> and they replaced it with uh, popsicle sticks. Uh, <laughs> he needs a herd Captain Pogo jumping. Wow! We found a little yeller! We found a little yeller! Throw the anchor! Throw the anchor! <laughs> throw, throw the, wait, the anchor? Uh, that's what I said! I love you! Thank you! <laughs> oh! Good throw! That's a bloosh! <laughs> nice!
find under your parents' bed? Uh, <laughs> Dan, please don't get you. <laughs> I don't have a purpose anymore. 
I mean, I was made to do one thing, and now that I'm no longer hungry, what do I do? <laughs> sir, sir, I think that uh, our time is up, <clears throat> so I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Okay. <laughs> uh, places a gorilla are not welcome. <laughs> Seaweed? Seaweed? <laughs> Water. <laughs> <laughs> we only have lemonade and water. <laughs> okay. You feel a 
reckon juries that I was, in the I was in the middle of a test to determine whether this cow ever deserves, <laughs> deserves rights or not. And I was determined it by the milk. <laughs> the milk jury. Anyways, can we continue? Judge? Meh. Yeah. <laughs> last job didn't work out, but here at Chick-fil-A... <laughs> <laughs>
for our first item, can we get something you might find at a carnival? Popcorn. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. But this cotton candy isn't any nor. Oh God. Um, <laughs> this cotton candy is cool. <laughs> this cotton candy isn't any normal cotton candy that's made out of just basically pure sugar. It's made out of something cooler than that. What is it made out of? Human hair. Hair. Radioactive material. Radioactive material. <laughs> 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 And this cotton candy made out of radioactive material isn't actually found at a carnival. It's found somewhere else. Where's it found? What I'm talking about. Found in Guantanamo. Guantanamo.
good idea. He has good mind. Uh, it's a very smart eyeball. And okay. And they. Okay. <laughs> You're singing, yeah. No, 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 no. You, you. Wait. Sing the funerals. Uh-uh. Wait, so, so. I'll be having it. Oh, yeah. All right. I didn't think you'd have that one. No, 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 no. I got to take it out. Are you kidding me? No.